Hello everybody, and welcome to another the mine Minecraft. Um, so I'm gonna try to um, find more mending. Um, but last last time it was it was not very successful. Um, let me pin this message, and I'm gonna send it into the discord you should join the discord you should also subscribe i'm really close to 500 subscribers um which i feel like after 500 subs we'll be able to do donations you know and that'll help you know with engagement with everybody and all that jazz um that out the way i have a bit of i don't know I'm either getting strep or something. I don't know. I've been like sniffling all day. I definitely have a sinus infection, that's for sure. Um, my my helmet is broken. Um, so it's very important that I find some some mending. If I can get mending. What the fuck, man? I think that was me, actually. I think that was the unstable. Um, I should put some of the shit back, huh? My beautiful walkway, too. Okay. Well, let's... Put this back. Oh. oh, I almost destroyed his crops. No! My fucking fish, dude. The other fish is gone now. Fuck. Okay, so we have molten meat, which dude, how, how do we have a pet raven? Let's look up how to get a pet raven. How to oh to get pet. Raven exit to uh, Ravens are neutral mobs that spawn in the overworld. They can be tamed as a familiar. Ravens are dark birds. Blah, 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 blah. Familiar. One, uh, once bound as a familiar to oneself, you are granted unique benefits pertaining to their chosen companion. Perks received. And this familiar is listed. Curses that are cast by the owner last twice as long. Curse cast onto the owner have a fifty chance to rebound back to the cat, uh, back to the caster. Okay. But how? Oh, tameable with gold nugget or silver nugget. Ah. <laughs> okay. 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 So. I got eight. Oh, dude, I, I, I have a stack of fucking nuggets. Um. Okay, let's throw it. Why that didn't go directly in the trash, I don't know. I don't need a creeper head. I don't need that. Um, okay. 
Put that all right there. Glowstone right there. Okay. So let's go um, make... Oh, that is right. How I forgot about you. You know, maybe, maybe I should put the shit into the... I think that's what Death was saying, was that... It's better to put... Stuff right into the smeltery. Because you can get a lot more for it. Oh, man. So you can, you can smelt it, but you can't... Seems a bit silly, doesn't it? The chain mail, old sword. Probably should have done this before stream, but nah. Oh, I can't... I can't get rid of that. Okay. Clear all that crap. I really want to get mending just for the golden heart. Where's Dwight? No, she's starting a new job. So... Wifey is unable to be on as of late. No, we didn't. We didn't have a falling out or anything. No, no. Message every now and again, but she's trying to fix her. Well, she already technically already did fix her sleeping schedule. So, um, but no, she's been working. So, no, we didn't have no fight. No, nothing like that. You miss your dominatrix. Don't we all? God damn it, dude. It starts raining as soon as I... What the fuck? <laughs> Speak of the fucking devil, for real. How's it going, Dwifey? Don't you have to be at... Or are you at work? You work like two to five, uh, two to seven or something. <laughs> I was about to say, it be going, it be going. No red today, by the way. Just so you know, uh, Red's got family over, so he can't be on right now. That's pretty funny timing, though. But... Man. Oh, shit. Wait. I don't need... I don't need three of you fucks. Minority. You. I gotta take you back. Yeah. <laughs> the one time Red's not here. Yeah, no. That's why he's not in the thumbnail. The little, the little baby boy. Now he's got family over and I'm pretty sure they use his room and everything, so. Where's wifey? Wifey is at home 
probably oh no sending memes Ooh. How you been though, Dwighty? City bitch. Where are the other ones? Rack city bitch, rack, rack city bitch. 10, 10, 10, 20s on your titties, bitch. Um. They're both following me, right? Yeah. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, that's a raven, right? No, that's just a bird. Fuck. Need a raven. No, it's just a bird. Fuck. Pretty sure me and Red did that one over there. So, probably do. It's funny just to name these raccoons and then Red finds them every now and again. It's like a little Easter egg for him. I don't see any fucking ravens. Raccoons? For real. If you have food in your hands and you uh, right click, you can name them and they'll be your little pets although they don't follow you or anything oh little bunnies hello is there anything on the map here uh not fucking really Raven too. I didn't know I could have a pet raven. <gasps> Who's dead? <gasps> no one, surprisingly. Hello, hello. Boing. Oh, the fuck? Right. Is this, is this even anything? No. This is just ruins. Oh my god, I hate the vines. Oh, well th that was pointless. Mm. It's just cobwebs in their chest, are you serious? I think I had these boots. Didn't waste my time trying to get to it. A leopard. Get the fuck down from there. You could steal the book. I have plenty of books. I think... At this point, I'm just trying to find more mending. Because... 
Lord knows I need it. I didn't. I, I, the helmet is broken. And apparently I can put mending on this golden heart. Which, if I can do that, fuck yeah. Oh, there's an island up there. Oh. I know that there was a fishing exploit. Fishing exploit, you say? Red's favorite thing to do in this uh, in this game is to fish. Chunks are loading. Uh, nothing. Ah. I'll go around this way. Hopefully there's something. I'm so mad. Today I was actually off. Well, I was scheduled off. And I... Somebody texted me that, hey, I'm, I'm having an emergency. Um, can you take my shift today? I'm supposed to start at 3, meaning that they'll, you know, they'll be the first cut for bartending. And I was like, sure, I got you. Take care of business. Then manager calls me and goes hey I need you to take a shift and I was like well I already took one right okay well we'll do the fishing one then yeah raven fuck oh I saw a raccoon no it was a duck so any you right manager calls me and Tells me to pick up the shift. I'm like, I already picked up a shift. Is that the one you're talking about? I already picked up a, a blah 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 shift. And they tell me, no. I was actually going to ask you to take blah blah blah's shift. A different person's shift, right? And I am like, okay, well, why would I do that? And they were like, well, because they're in overtime. Now, the restaurant slash company I work with has plenty of fucking money. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh, oh. Come here, bitches. No, you dumb motherfuckers. Stop it. Stop it. Stop picking up the fucking... Dude, you dumb motherfuckers. Banished. Banished. Be my friends. Do my bidding. Yes. Would you like more? Uh... Does that not work? Fuck you. That's such bullshit. Fuck the Hexit wiki, dude. Absolute lying fucking cunts. 
That shit said that you could hold a fucking gold nugget and make those shits your friends. Fuck you. There is a thing over here, though. Um, but anywho, right? The, the company I work with has plenty of fucking money, right? They can afford to shell out five hours of fucking overtime. Like, it's, like... Like, that that's absolutely fucking silly. But... No, it definitely said gold nugget or silver nugget, right? And... I don't have a silver nugget, nor do I think you can get one in this fucking game. Um... But yeah. Fuck that. Oh, we already cleared this one. Um But I'm like, no, I'm taking blah 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 shift. So right? So I go in at three, which means I'm supposed to be cut first, right? But guess who's working? The person that's apparently in overtime. So, they get to go home first. Not me. So, I end up closing today. So, I didn't get out until fucking 11. And I was pretty much pissed all day because they had me working with somebody that... Um... Is very self-absorbed. I don't know what the appropriate way to... I mean, he's a great guy. Love him to bits. But... Dude is lazy. Because I ended up... So, I was on well, meaning I make all the drinks for the restaurant. Dude, yeah, for real. The undamaged one. The fucking tortoise unkillable motherfucker um and uh i'm supposed to just make drinks for the restaurant and if i have time i'm i'll do wine because we have wine there right but we have so much wine that it's you know it's usually one person does wine one person takes care of the bar guests and one person does the drinks and um I was on the well, meaning I make all the drinks and all that shit, right? Um, and I ended up doing pretty much all of the fucking wine, too, because he didn't want to do it. And then he tried to pass off some of the guests over to me, meaning I would end up doing the... Um, like, basically everything. Which, fuck that, like, you're getting paid the same amount as me, and you're getting the same tips as me. We're splitting the tips half and half. So, do the fucking job, cause... No. <clears throat> but... Yeah, I ended up getting out late, and I left earlier, because... He likes to he likes to stay later. Like um to do, you know, like cuz technically if you if you stay later, the system thinks that you stayed there longer, meaning because it cuts the tips by hours. So, if you're working bar, you know, as a bartender, it's electronically splitting all of the card tips between you, but by percentage based off of hours. So, if you technically did that shit, right, and just stayed on... Some bullshit. <clears throat> Basically, you can kind of cheese some of the tips your way. Um... 
technically, I mean, it's stealing, but I mean, I can give a shit. But... Yeah. So that was, that was my day today. Do I have anything for... Uh, I know I made one. Oh yeah, I need XP. Wherever will I get it? Probably 30. I have 115 fucking things of fucking experience right there. Okay, this... Alright. So I, I have look at the sea and shut the fuck up. At least Red's pet likes me more. I wasn't paying attention. Whoopsies. You could try to just not do the work they are supposed to be doing. No, dude, when I tell you I did fucking everything in the fucking bar today, including cleaning, fucking everything, pretty much. And it's like, technically, I mean, I do that sometimes where I'm just like, well, if I'm working with him, I'm just not gonna, but at the same time, I was trying to get out. Oh, I pulled too early. I was trying to get out earlier because I wanted to go to uh, get some tacos after work and the, there's this good Mexican taco place but it closes at 12 and it being 11 I'm like fuck this I'm going but usually like if I see that he is deliberately slacking to get you know majority of the tips right well, then, why the fuck would I speed myself up? Because then, it's more work on me. And, you know. It's, it's stupid how it works. Uh, did I just got... Oh, I just got a fucking... Fishing rod. That's nice. <clears throat> I remember when you used to be able to put fire aspect on a fucking fishing rod. Remember that? Good times. Good times. <sighs> you know, if these fish weren't offing themselves, I could actually, like, you know, leave them in here wild I kind of fixed up the microphone a little bit so if it sounds a little different I don't know if it sounds better or sounds probably the same to you guys I don't know but I was trying to edit the filters and shit I still don't know how the compressor works on OBS I'm pretty sure I'd have to put it with the game audio but it's hard to put it with, like, game audio when you would have it direct technically connected to desktop audio. And whenever it was connected to desktop audio, I noticed that my mic would, like, quiet itself to uh, whenever Red talked or something like that. Yeah, once again, even with the fish farm, it still can take quite a bit of time to get mending. So you might want to save that for off stream, given that it's AFK. You can just keep it running while you do other stuff. Is it like a? Am I, I gonna have to program that in? I'm just gonna relax like this for a second. Decompress. Yeah, so I felt shitty for... I, I felt like I shouldn't have picked up today. No. 
um, because then I could have edited the podcast today. I have a podcast that I'm editing, and it's literally only halfway. It's like a two-hour fucking podcast. And it's from last year. But my biggest struggle with doing a podcast, especially doing it through YouTube, I mean, I do have it on Spotify with video, so check it out, um, is that it's very hard to not put too many... Oh, there's Asia in chat asking for Dwifey. Um... <clears throat> But the hardest part about having a podcast is, like, you want it entertaining enough visually for YouTube, but you also want it, like, auditorially pleasing for Spotify. Like, usually most people, even if there is video through Spotify, aren't going to be able to watch the video. I know that for a fact. You know, shit happen. You know, half the time. Unless something happens on screen, in which case then they'll pause it, rewind it, and then look at it. And then go back to, you know, with their phone in the pocket, right? But, with, with like, it's hard, because I can't put too many sound effects. I want to put a lot of sound effects, because then it's funnier for YouTube. But at the same time, for Spotify, it's just weird to hear, like, you know, like a punching sound effect if, like, you know, there's no real, like, lead into it, you know? So usually I, I try to stick to just visually pleasing for YouTube, in which case I'll do facial tracking or... Hold that thought if you can, or continue. I just really need to step away for a few things. All good death, it, it'd be like that. Um, but... It's just quite... There's a lot of things you want to do, but you know at the end of the day... It, the other problem with doing a podcast with YouTube is that nobody watches the thing as as much as you want you know people to see it and you know you put a lot of effort and work into this thing nobody really gives a shit um that's just the sad truth when it comes to editing which is why i started just doing live streams because it's easier for me and i get the kind of return i want given the amount of effort I'm putting into it. Like, it's not like... Like, I... I don't want to say low effort, but in comparison to actually sitting, recording, setting up the microphones, getting food for the guys, and, you know, getting, getting a video ready for the guys, because... You literally have 12 more watch time hours till you reach 3,000. For real. Now we just need to reach subs. So share us. Um, but, like, YouTube, it's very hard. Because, um, and I was going to make a short on it. Or even make a video on it. Because it is actually some bullshit. Um, the way the YouTube algorithm works, I feel like, I mean, it kind of makes sense. But at the same time, it, it it doesn't make sense. So, like, I know there are, you know, thousands of people that post shorts regularly. Yeah, but you had to admit, we did get a lot more views when we did those videos before. The only reason we got video or views on those videos is because I paid for those to run them as an ad. And that that's... That's what made me feel better about those videos. The only ones that did pretty good was Zach's Basement Episode 1. That was the only one that naturally did that. Everything else I did actually have to pay for by running an ad for it because nobody was watching it. Nobody. 
and it's like running it as an ad and just spending like 20 bucks to run it on an ad on the weekend and boost the sub count just a little bit probably by two or three subs which majority of the time they unsubbed anyways you know but you know to get the views it's like I made people watch it and with the amount of effort and work I put into it you know I just wanted people to watch it that was it that was it so I was fine doing that it's not like paying for bots and stuff because it is a legitimate thing you can purchase an ad through AdSense it's actually quite easy actually it's just very daunting and confusing but I remember I used to do that uh, for my old channel I knew how to do that but thanks to Nick you know I was able to get the tags right and stuff like that which I feel like I did for the most part already but it was helpful to have that confirmation that I was doing it right you know but like <sighs> When you sit and, like, you're proud of something and it fucking flops right in front of you, it is so depressing. And, like, what I would do to make myself feel better was just, like, be like, you know what, I'll, I'll do a, one video a week. And I did that for a while, but, like... How's it going? Welcome back, Dev. Doing one video a week sounds pretty easy. And I remember well, growing up as a kid and seeing Smosh do, I think they did it like two times a week and stuff like that. And thinking like that, that's easy. But like, one Smosh had a script. I don't, honestly, I don't know how they did it. Like, it's pretty impressive. I mean, I probably could, but. I would need the money to back it. Which I feel like at that time, you know, you made a lot more money on YouTube. You definitely could. But, dude, nowadays it's just so hard because when I make a short, all right, here, I'll actually show you guys because it's it's actually some BS. This is, this is why the YouTube algorithm, I feel like, is... I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, it doesn't, right? So everybody knows that there are um, people that, like, there's these, like, bot accounts almost, right? That make shorts and stuff and stuff, right? And so these accounts literally make one fucking short on their new account, right? Okay. And these are like, th this is what's annoying. So I made this, right? I have the tags right and everything like that. 26 fucking views. 27 views. These didn't even circulate. The only people that actually watch these videos are people that are actually subscribed. You know, like, this one did good because obviously Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff like that. But I know Observation Duty is a pretty big fucking game. And even then, you know, bro, people post the most brain dead fucking shit. And they post other, other people's clips. Like, not even the stream, like the streamer's clips. Right? Right? Whatever. Every now and again, I will do a short that will only get. It will, for the first two hours, for the first two hours, it will circulate this video, and then it will stop. Right here. Literally, the first two hours. Okay, so 10, 10, 11, right here. Okay, that for, uh, what is this? The first, oh, it doesn't even say it, but the first two hours, it will circulate this video. And whatever happens, that's it. It's done. The only other people that will watch it, like if I go to analytics and go to views, see right here, every now and again you will get somebody that watches one of these shorts. 
but that's usually because they are in my shorts. See, like, look at all these, like, well, these ones don't have views, but, you know, somebody clicked my channel, found me, and then found the short after. Most likely. I don't know. But, and then if you go to watch time here, now, I haven't posted shorts in, like, forever, pretty much. It says on here, watch time, 3.3k, which it says it doesn't count shorts, but, I mean, shorts are not that long, and nobody sits and watches 300 fucking hours worth of shorts. I know damn well I don't have 300 hours worth of shorts, watch time-wise, right? But if I go to my earn page... All right, showing data as of March 26th, 2024. We carefully validate each channel's engagement metrics before they are displayed here. This process may take several days to complete and may vary from what you see elsewhere, such as YouTube analytics. Okay. 2,988. And that is bullshit. They don't actually check. They definitely round down by a lot. Um... This is why a lot of people say it's, like, impossible to fucking get there. And then, like, subscribers, you, you get so many bots and shit. No. No. Not anymore. No. So, let's say I go... I'll go onto my channel here. Or I'll... I'll watch... Okay, this is... These videos are unlisted right here. Or actually, they're private. If I go over and I click the link, right, and I watch this. Okay. I'm going to watch three seconds of this thing. Okay. Ignore that video. There's a reason it's private. Okay. And then I go into here. Where would it be? I think it won't show because it's private. Um, but you can go click a video. Watch literally just a little bit of it. Okay. So like this one. Watching, watching. It only needs like 10 seconds. And it will count the view. I don't know what, what the actual... I don't know if it'll let me because I'm watching it. But no, you don't have to watch the entire video. No, because YouTube actually keeps track of that as well, of how long the view duration is. So like this one right here. If I go to analytics here. The watch time here. Maybe it's too young to actually have. I'll go to this one that blew up for some reason um and i go to analytics here and go to what would it be average view duration eight minutes and 33 seconds percentage viewed 3.9 percent um and it actually tells you the actual engagement so after two minutes only 11% actually stayed after that. And after 6 minutes, 5% stayed after that. Which then it kind of goes up and down because people were coming into the stream and stuff like that. So, just... That's why it looks, like, wavy for some reason. Because that doesn't make sense. Um, but... That's what kind of fucks me up with YouTube's thing. Because, like... It says watch time. Okay. And this is this is another thing. Um, so, if you go to analytics... There were two days where I did not stream. It being... Uh, October 9th, because I was on vacation in Canada... 
and Christmas Eve. Now notice Christmas Eve, it says 0.3 hours of watch time. Okay. We still had views on that day. Like, 0.3, whatever. But if you go to point, okay, October 9th, 2023, I, I bet I can find, I think I actually, no, I think I, that was the day we streamed. Hmm, I don't know. Gonna have to go back far. Love the partially blocked videos. Okay, give it, give it a minute. I'm cooking. Okay, well, it doesn't have it, but we're going to go to October 8th. And we can go to analytics, go to watch time. Okay. Go to another one here. This one. But the thing is, there were views on that day. Oh, did I go up too high? Oh, that, that is too high. Anyone that actually has views. October 9th, it got 31 views. That, it doesn't make sense. Um, like, and, and there's not a day that goes by that we don't get views on stuff. Like, like, look at these right here. The fact that the watch time is zero. And I've noticed it also doesn't count. Like, there's some days where it's super low. Sunday the 10th, 1.2. Me and Red leave our phones open with the stream playing. So... The watch time should be way fucking higher than it says it is. Like... I don't know. YouTube is very, like... I don't know. I feel like they don't care about smaller channels. They won't circulate shit. Like, they say that they circulate stuff, but if they if they really did, why the fuck do I only have 27 views? Like, and, yeah, the people that, and swiped away. Okay. What is, what is, what is it again? There's one where it'll actually show you the amount of mm, the audience. Returning viewers were nine. It's like, eh. I mean, I know that's true, right? YouTube updating and stuff like that, but like... It doesn't push smaller YouTubers out there. But like, dude, I've seen more likes on videos, on, on shorts specifically, that have like no comments but a shit ton of likes and a shit ton of views. And it's literally like the grainiest fucking photo. And it's literally like something that should not be even on YouTube. It'll be like... I don't know, a fucking kid lollygagging, which a kid shouldn't even be on fucking YouTube posting anyways. Like. I don't know. YouTube makes me, like, angry when I look at the analytics. Because I really enjoyed doing this, but at the same time, I have sunk so much money into this and time. And it's not like I'm a deadbeat on YouTube. 
it like you know I still have a job and everything like that it was just something that was fun right that I wanted to do with friends which kind of like fell out a little bit because of somebody I was doing the podcast with the first one sex basement with what the fuck are those things see themselves succeed but at the same time i've i've bought two cameras not cheap cameras well technically three if you count this fucking webcam a streaming one um like i don't know i technically bought a computer for this express purpose of editing which then turned to streaming I can't say I don't enjoy it it's just sometimes it can be a bit frustrating especially when like I mean I do know people do have lives and stuff like that but you know and it, it sucks that I can't stream at a better time but at the same time, I know that even if I streamed at a better time, chances are there would already be somebody else streaming that people, you know, actually want to watch. Like, um, that, that's why I stopped streaming on, you know, Saturdays. Because trying to keep up with all of the other bigger YouTubers. It ain't happening, Chief. It's just not... Holy shit. What the fuck? Hello? But... I just wish it was doing better than it is. Like, it's not going bad, but, you know. <laughs> I do vent to you. Just not about the YouTube and stuff. YouTube's just very... I don't know. Yeah. No, it, it's... Like, I remember I bought another... The day I bought another camera, and I gave it to Diego as a gift, because he said he wanted to... Um, like, he was kind of looking up to me and how I've been doing with my videos and stuff and realized, like, you know, he's always been a big Markiplier fan. So, what's going on? Is my ping high? 78? What the hell's going on? Um, so, I, I shelled out, uh, like, close to a grand to get him a camera. I got him a Canon. Um, and it's like one of those bundle things. So he got like some tripods and shit. Case and stuff. 
and uh, that day I gifted him one was the day that we actually did the Zach's Basement Pool episode. And it ended up being a flop because the mics didn't record properly or some shit. I don't remember what it was, but the first recording session didn't go well and we ended up having to redo it. So, um, but yeah, I remember that being like super fun and, um, oh, please. I guess I'll go through here. Googly eye, motherfucker. Um, and I was fine to do that, you know, like, I have no problem doing that, but. Shit builds up over time, man. Like, uh. The cooking videos are probably the most fun, but they aren't as cheap as you think. Especially when you sit and, like, fuck around with, you know, all that shit. Yeah. Kind of wild. Like, I'm very grateful I have the opportunity to actually be able to do this. But at the same time, I sacrifice a lot of sleep and a lot more money than I kind of would like to. Actually, I should make this into a crafting station. Because originally, this... So I've had this channel technically since... <sighs> um, 2012. And, uh... You know, I never really used it though. So I can't really say I've had this channel since then, you know, like, oh big shot um but like hello puppy um i forgot where i was going with that fuck you June 21st, 2015? Yeah. Let me see. The other one I have is 2012. Which, I don't use that one anymore. Um. But I didn't start this, like, posting until... Like, actually posting. Until one of uh, one of these guys I knew texted me and he was like, "Hey, I'm trying to shoot a movie. Can you help me out with it?" And uh, uh, they only asked me because paper sharpening kit. Oh, that's kind of eh. um, but I remember being like. You know, sure, because they had known I had a... What the fuck? You little fucking imp. Really? Um, but I was like, sure, I'll help them out with it. The movie ended up not working, um, but 
on one of the the days. Jeez, stop. Um, that we were supposed to record. I ended up just fucking around with the camera. And then I even made a little edit with it. Which is why you see, like, um, the director quirks or some shit like that. Can you guys stop? Good lord. Um. Is there even anything? Nope, nothing useful here. Um. But that's when I started posting that, and then, uh, one of the guys said how much he'd wanted to shoot a podcast. And I was like, okay, well, let's, let's do it, you know? So that's why we had, um, you know, the Zach's Basement podcast and shit like that. Um... But it wasn't really anything crazy. We really, really didn't expect too much from that. As far as, like, views and stuff like that. You know, those cobwebs in those buildings would be great for the zombies. Not so much for the others, though. Oh, you're right. Fuck his rebound. What does that do? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Um. What does rebound do? Please don't. I'm not trying to, like, go down another level. Basketball. I cannot say I play basketball. Oh my god. No, I don't really, um... Care for sports. I mean, I like playing sports. I play soccer every now and again and shit like that. That was a tactical retreat right there. No, but I'm, I'm, uh, I feel like I'm, I don't know, I played basketball as a kid for one year. And I remember I, I hated it. Because I was too short. Ugh. <sighs> Now I hate it just because I'm bad at it. Not bad at it. It's just, eh, you know. I feel like I'd rather be doing other things. Like, I don't know. I really enjoy videography and, like, hanging out with my friends and shit like that, but. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you pussy. Mending. Oh. Oh. If you didn't get a concussion and a sprain muscle, you weren't trying hard enough. <laughs> yeah, no, I did plenty of sports as a kid. It's just, you know, 
I think it's not the same. Test dummy? Mmm. Interesting. village. Hello. Oh, kitty cat. They don't really have a good village, to be honest. It's kind of a shit one. The, the fucking road doesn't even go through it. But yeah. I feel like my energy level for this channel has also gotten way lower than what it used to be. But also, I live in a different place where I, I can't be loud. <laughs> At the time, I wish I could be. So... Think of the extra iron ingots you can get from the bells at the cost of them getting raided. Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice that I am willing to make. You know, I should actually really put this motherfucker back in. Why oh, put the piggyback thing? It's not worth it. I'll make a new one. Did I do this one? I think I did this one. I feel like I would have done this one already. Dum de dum de dum. I don't know. Every now and again, this channel pops off, and I, I get pretty excited. You know, the sub count goes up and everything like that. But then, you know, two steps, uh, two steps forward. You know, one step back. You know, it's funny. I was actually editing the uh, podcast that technically we recorded back in. Oh, let's probably go the other way. Back in... I think it was like September of last year or something. And... Um, we were excited at the time of recording that video. We were at 343 uh, subscribers. Which... You know, it's still pretty incredible. You know, don't get me wrong. But... The fact that we've only come along... 100 subs since then. I mean, that's still something, you know. It's still no easy feat. You know, I know there are still channels that are at, like, 250. But I've also noticed there's a lot of channels nowadays that are, are paying for subs, you know? And I just don't want to do that. Did you hear about the mobile mods Minecraft Pocket Edition? It's gotten anything. You may be in moderate stage of creeper. Um Well, every now and again I do get burned out with the channel and stuff. You know, but I don't really, uh, no, oh, thank you, Windows Security. Um, I don't know. I mean, I do know it is a burnout kind of thing, but. It's one of those things where it's, as a smaller YouTuber, 
it is so hard to take a break. And I remember I did take quite a few. And I remember I took a big one. And we lost like 17 subs for doing it. But anytime I would take a small break or anything like that, I would just get completely fucked. Because then, like, you know, yeah, it's better for the mental health, you know, to take a break, you know. When you when you need it most, obviously. But oh hell yeah, we got another heart piece. Um You know. When you know it's gonna cost you more work at the end of the day, it's like fuck. I'm fine. I don't wanna read a fucking book right now. I don't know what the I don't know what the tape measure is for. Um, I'm praying one of these is just like an enchanted partially digested journal. small youtuber is taking a break possibly for mental health reasons how dare they yeah no like it's and i feel like some of it does fall on youtube though because youtube definitely has a lot of bots and stuff like that like you know that's a obviously yeah that's a no-brainer but i feel like youtube also pushes those and that was one thing I noticed when I was paying for ads for um, podcasts or even um, just regular videos. I'd pay for the ads to run. Like, oh damn, this seagull's still here. Um, like for the Peeps video, which I might run it as an ad this year, but really not. Um, last year when we did it, I noticed that, um, well, I forgot about Hitler. Um, I would always get at least, at least two subs. Two, no matter when. But it's kind of silly because YouTube, when you run an ad on it, it tells you, hey, this is how many people you reach, and you'll probably get 17 subs or something like that, an outlandish number. And YouTube knows that it, they're not getting 17 fucking subs from this video. Nobody's subbing because they're watching an ad. They're going to skip the shit. They're not going to sub to it. I mean, every now and again, maybe you'll get a real sub. But you will get two YouTube bots that subscribe to you. And then unsub in about two weeks. In about two weeks. One to two weeks, they will unsub. And... I don't know... Why they do it, but... I can tell you for a fact, it is definitely YouTube. Did I get another heart piece? Did I not have... Thought I had... Thought I only had four. Hmm, okay. Alright, well, whatever. But. I know that for this channel and stuff like that, if I don't push myself to post or do an upload, if I don't force myself to be on the schedule because one the ADD and stuff like that but I just I will take a break and then I will step away from this channel and that will be it because you know it's not a failing channel it's just not what I'd like it to be I don't know
well, sometimes some problems can get so big that you don't even feel the need to worry about it because of the sheer inevitability of the train wreck that is just getting worse and worse no matter if you do anything about it. Do a crit jump with your sword. 20, 43, well, 20.43, very nice. Um, but, yeah. Oh, where'd it go? Oh. I'm gonna use the slime helmet instead of this helmet just because... I think the slime has better stats because I get plus two maximum health. And I like that. Oh, can they wear armor too? Ooh, I'll give it some armor. Because then I can get respiration, all this shit. I'll get last stand too. Unbreaking, soul bound. I think I have to put soul bound again on this. Okay. I kind of figured you meant the dummy. It can. That's awesome. Can I hold a weapon? I'll find out. No, I can't. Damn. I'm gonna leave this pickaxe in here. Um, it's gonna be kind of nice. You can test the armor penetration of the rapier. Oh, you're right. You're right, you're right. I was actually debating making a new one. Uh, one that's not, you know, shit. And not to say that this one's shit. It's just... I I mean, you kind of warned me about the downfalls of Obsidian. Oh, I need, I need my experience back, please. Okay, so yeah, mending moss there. What do I need for the rapier? I need that thing, that thing, that thing. Tool rod, sword blade, cross guard. So I think I'll I'll build. The tool rod out of paper. Do I have paper? I can get some. I can get some. Um. Not me. Laid paper. Gotcha. Ah, I gotcha. Well, if I make just one part out of paper, will the damage be higher? It should, right? I know the durability should. Oh, wait, I need to... Boop, boop, boop. And pop. Oh, wait. Oh, I did have paper. No. Well, whatever. Can't have too many. Two parts out of paper? Ah, true. I mean, I don't have the mending anyways, so... 
So cross guard. Also paper. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. The this is regular sword blade, right? Yeah. And also death, you were right. You were right. Yeah. So if you just put um Cobalt and Ardite in there, which I have to get more. Um, you you were right. You were right. Yeah. So you just need Ardite and Cobalt, and it automatically turns into it's. It's not even. I don't even know what the count is for it. It's just. It just did it. Because when I got back to it um, later. You need a little bit more. Just a little bit. A little taste. Ah. So I have cobalt in there. Now let's turn it into um, yeah, so it, no, well, I mean, I'm going to see how much damage this thing has, which I'm pretty sure it should be more than Where do I get lava? Do you have the, the buckets? You don't have any buckets. Um, hopefully that's enough to smelt it. I'm hoping. There he goes. Look at that. See? So I think it's one to one. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I am completely out of lava, so I'm going to have to get more lava, but. Where did the blade go? Oh, my God. What did I put in here? The quartz. Okay, so let's build. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, so it already, it already does more damage than this fucking thing. So let's, uh, 6.9. And then let's add some mending moss to it. So the durability is 71. Okay, now the durability is 571. Uh, the reinforced thing. Please tell me I have. I got four. Seven. Nice. 
And then I got this large plate thing. This would be a blank cast, doesn't it? Man. I was kind of hoping I could use that thing. Oh. I'm pretty sure. See. It says that, right? But this thing is also 18.95. And it says it only does... Yeah, 12 to 13 to 14, right? And that was before armor. Before armor. So... I'm inclined to believe that this thing... I was gonna do something, and I completely forgot. Um. Oh, man. Large plate. No. Blank cast. I'm so confused about this mod. You know what? That makes two of us. That that really does make two of us. Because... Half the shit that the wiki tells me, you can't even do, dude. No, the one that does lunge... This one does backpedal. The one that does lunge is the longsword. Yeah. But it's cool, man. It's cool. I mean, I'm so fine with this. I mean, seven point four five, and it it does it does do a good amount of damage. Yeah, see that that definitely did seven right there, but I don't know about armor. This mod pack is just very. See, the one mod pack I know a lot about is um. Oh, dude, it's it's real fast. Look, look at this. Dunzo. If I, if I could land the second hit. You. See, look at that. Nice and quick. We'll test it on this guy here. Oh. I'm trying to test it on somebody else, please. Thank you. Easy. Like, it is nice and quick. It's pretty, pretty decent. It's not, it's not, you know, the highest damage, but I mean, the speed ain't no joke. say that death but when i read the wiki it confirms exactly what you said except for the fact that it doesn't work in the game so i, I don't know why but so so now i know that um technically you need oh it says you need one modifier 
for like like see because this is maxed out not enough modifiers right okay so anytime you do shit like that okay um if i add the golden apple it doesn't even do that shit and then i read something else that said it's not just a golden apple it's also with a diamond block okay so Okay, well, maybe, maybe it's actually just nine diamonds. Oh, that, that just put it in this chest. Didn't it? Right? Diamond can only be applied once. Maybe it's just a diamond block, right? It's another star in enchanted golden apple but the thing i read said that it was it was diamond block and golden apple enchanted feels bad man feels really bad and even then like i don't know should i just fight the the the, the withered dude right now I know I can make the toolkit uh, this thing grants an extra modifier um, by new prismarine and for some reason there's no fucking thing there so there's only one sensible thing to do from this point on and that requires soul sand and uh, these three wither skulls that I have in here for which I've saved just for this special occasion let me throw this shit away dude I'll keep that. I need that. I'll throw that away. It's. Nah. I mean, I, I know that I can, like, put it in the furnace and stuff like that, but. I ain't tripping. I'm gonna put this in there, actually. Can't be more than once, right? That would be ludicrous. For real. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Alright, so. The best way to fight the Wither is by taking it to a faraway location away from your base. Right? Because then it, it can. What the fuck is going on with the ceiling? The, the roof, the, the sky, the... Jesus. This seems nice far away, right? Goodness. I did that right, right? Right? How the fuck did... Is it because technically I beheaded those wither skeletons? But I feel like that wouldn't... Maybe in the nether? Okay. I feel like it shouldn't have a problem with me being too close to it and stuff. Uh... 
the description is Minecraft with a skeleton skull. So technically it is the correct one. Why is it foggy now? What the hell is going on? Am I using the wrong soul sand? Is it is soul sand, right? Am I dumb? Or is this game just fucking with me now? Maybe just another. I don't know, the last update I played major, like, uh, a real Minecraft was when the Wither came out. What's he doing? What's he Oh shit. Holy shit. Where'd he go? Nether star. Nah, we're good. We're good. See death. Although the, those things might actually blow up the portal. Maybe. It's weird that it didn't work in the real world. Okay. Nether star and E gap. Soulbound. What does Soulbound do? You love your tool. Not even death can part you. Wow, that's cute. Wait, so that doesn't... No modifier found for golden apple. That's bullshit, because if you go to Tinker's Construct... Tinker's Construct... Modifiers. So, oh, well, this thing says that um, you can put a diamond and a block of gold. So, here, what does this thing say right here? Attaching a solid golden apple and encrusting a tool with a block of diamond warps the tool in places you did not notice before. Enchanted golden apple and one block of diamond. Am I supposed to craft those things together? Am I... Am I just dumb? Like... I mean, I know I'm dumb, but... So the fact that it says no modifier found Yeah, it's just Technically the spots don't matter because you can go over and you can put like I don't know. What did that thing say earlier? What did it say? It said uh one diamond 
and one block of gold. Let's test that. Cause I bet that shit won't work either. Like, I feel like somebody changed the wikis to like fuck with people or some shit. Okay, it said one one diamond, one block of gold. Okay. There's my tool. There's one diamond. There's one block of gold. Like, am I supposed to put it in a in the in the like I maybe 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 like this? Let me do some quick research. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I feel like these people are fucking with me, man. Like, it's just... Man. But hey, we got the nether star, guys. We beat the wither. Mm-hmm. That we did. The bed's too far away. Right. Whatever you say, Minecraft. Let me get some more water here. So, let's, uh, oh, this was the castle kit, right? that raccoon where are you at raccoony <gasps> Charles Charles was the OG hmm find uh wait I didn't even grab the I didn't grab the buckets I need buckets for lava okay either it's the normal wooden tool station or it's the tinker's construct mod this is supposedly the latest version of hexit However, I don't know if that means this is the latest version of Tinker's Construct. So... To answer your question... No clue. No clue at all. Ugh. Dude, I need more shit. I in this period. Let me leave this in there before. Something bad happens. What does Wither Ash even do, dude? Can you even use it for anything? Nothing? 
Like what? What? There's no recipes for it. Nothing. All right. So if you look up tool station. Any tool station? Okay. Well, that's not hard. Uh, I have wood. And then I have a blank pattern right here. Tool station. Okay, I'm just gonna set it right there. Okay. So, the tool station. What did I need again? Oh, these two things, right? Uh. Hmm. Set it. Diamond and a block of gold, too. Am I, am I supposed to just apply those just to themselves, or...? Well, the nether star, I know that one will work. But, I thought the nether star was supposed to give me another modifier. I think it just gives it, like, soul bound, so it just stays with me. Even in debt. Yeah. That one works. You love your tool, not even death can part you. So. Yeah, so the, the tool station just works just like the tool forge. It's just... Yeah. So, the nether star does work, but not with the, anything else. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just work here. So... Combined with flint, upgrade their tool to the materials mining level. Alright, I'm looking through it now. Some sources say later versions of Tinker's Construct remove a few sources of adding modifier slots. That's what I kind of figured. I bet the only thing that works is the diamond cool uh, toolkit over here. I bet that's the only way to add modifiers. Which is kind of stupid because Prismarine is finite. Meaning, I can't really grab that many. So, like. Yeah, I don't know. It seems almost like it'd be infinitely easier just to. Yeah. No, that is the only toolkit. No. Um. Uh... It's the only toolkit. Oh look, it's it's you. I forgot the fucking buckets again. Oh, I already used the. Already is the nether star. That's right. I can use the cleaver. I'll kill more withers and right as rain. Well, I mean, I already used it, but yeah, nether star. Uh, where is it? Damn. So let's go ahead and see what we can craft. We can craft the beacon. Empty capsule. 
witherless rose with the nether stars enchanting this rose. The holder is protected from withering. Oh yeah, I can build this thing, but... Um, you have to feed it stuff. I don't... I don't even know what you're supposed to feed it. No clue, dude. I'm so used to playing Tech It. I still forgot the buckets. The ADD, man. It hurts. Um. Okay, buckets. Wait, I did grab the buckets. Did I not grab the buckets? You had the buckets, don't you? You have one bucket. Where did I put the other buckets? One of the many problems with me. I'm just gonna throw all this shite in here. I don't really use a ninja dagger. Chester in here. Well, some mobs have the withering title, not to mention wither skeletons, so the rose could be useful. Ah, uh, true. True, true. Shield parrying. It's very nice of you, minority. Good minority. Good minority. I can't even really do anything with these tough gloves. Either. Except make a bestiarium or put unbreaking. I don't know why you would want to put mending on it. But. Yeah, you get those when you kill the giants. I think it's still annoying. You need to craft an axe for combat to use against a shielded enemy to do damage. Oh, really? That's what works against them? It's kind of dumb. I mean, that actually kind of makes sense. There are a lot of tribes that use uh, that kind of that kind of tech. I'll keep the soul sand. I'll keep one glove. I just threw that in the thing, didn't I? Whatever. Um, I mean, I did make these ancient silver axe does 13 damage, pretty spicy, right? I think so. I don't need that much leather. <clears throat> Okay. So let's go ahead and pull these out here. And there we go, we got four buckets. So let's uh, go to the south. Slightly to the west.
I just need a little bit of lava. See? I mean, that's not a little bit, but it's probably gonna be like, what, one source block? Yeah, that was it, huh? All right. So that's going to be gone. There's technically one up here, so we'll go. We'll go back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty of books. Now I probably should expand um, this thing one day, but... It's beautiful. <sighs> uh, oh, lava's this way. I don't know, I feel like it's after, like, a certain point, isn't it kind of, like, easier to just use standard, like, the slime helmet. Look how many enchantments I can put on it. You know, the other one makes it so complicated. Like, I mean, I like it, especially the the cleaver. Cleaver's probably my favorite. Just because, you know, one hit do be kind of nice. But then it's also the thing of, like... You know, I can't put enchantments on it. Like, there are some really cool enchantments. But I can't... I can't really put those on it. What do we have here? Oh. Are oh, you clearing the chat, Death? I should be dying of hunger. I gotta figure out more games to play. I do have um, a pretty interesting game to play, but it's more of a multiplayer game, and unfortunately, I would like to be that third person to just buy red a new computer, but I can't exactly afford to do that right now. Um. To write what death? What'd you write? What game? Dude, I gotta look at it. Let me check my Steam. It is called... Wait, I don't even have it downloaded. Uh, what 
What game did I buy? How do you how do you check what game you buy? Uh oh, TerraTech Worlds. Uh, it's this game right here. Yeah, mute that. But yeah, again, it's more of a multiplayer game. I don't know if because this is this is early access right now. But um, I don't know if Red's computer can handle this. Minimum sixteen gigs of RAM. Like, the thing is, with Red's computer, we can't even play this game. Last time we tried to play this game, he, he it, like, it kept crashing for him. And it's like... But I think that's mainly just his Wi-Fi. Either his Wi-Fi or something, but like... Um... It, that one, Terratech, reminded you of an older game. It probably did, but... Um, yeah, so... I need to figure out how to work through that and get that up and running with Red. Because, I mean... Minecraft, his computer runs fine. Okay, that's that's no biggie. Um, Phasmophobia runs no problem, but there there are just certain games that like, dude. We tried to play this shitty game called Banana Shooter. You can still watch us play that. Red was getting mad at how bad the game was running for him. Maybe it's because I was hosting, but I still have really good. Wi-Fi, good network, so I don't, I don't know, but, yeah. The original TerraTech? What's it, it's, is that what it's called? Oh, the OG. Wow. Wow. Yeah. The OG. Oh, this is gameplay. Wells Knight. That's pretty cool, actually. It's definitely lower like yeah this this one's like higher graphics and everything it's pretty pretty decent looking so but yeah uh. that's pretty pretty interesting I've never been one to play games like crazy, you know. So didn't know that. That's cool though. I wasn't really allowed to play video games that much growing up. I was always jealous of YouTubers and such because they could uh, they could play to their heart's content with their friends. And now that I'm doing this, it's kind of like, you know, pretty cool. Like, I remember growing up, I loved watching, uh, see, Hexit, I know a lot of people grew up with Hexit, but I grew up with Tekkit. Tekkit was my bread and butter. That was the one that I watched videos on, and I could tell you everything about it. Well, not everything. Not the bees mod. I don't fucking know how to do that shit. But... 
the EMC and everything like that. Oh, easy. Oh. Being a video gamer full time. See, a lot of people make fun of it. Like, like, well, you do it full time and stuff. Which technically, I, I think for me, average two hours a week. It's like 14, 14 to 20 hours a week. That's part time still for me, but um, I know, I'm, you know, people make fun of it, but. If you look at how much time is actually required. Oh, I need. It's kind of impressive. Not to mention strength. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of people that script their stuff. Um, I know. Uh, Red was talking to me about it, of maybe setting up something like that, but I feel like I can't, I can't stick to a script, um, it's just not my thing. Just never been a fan of it myself. Um, how am I supposed to craft a... Am I supposed to just find another smoker? Or is this thing just not... Weird. Um... I don't know. I'm not, I've never been a fan of scripted comedy. Or... I, although I do understand, like... It would probably work for, like... Hexit... I mean, assuming... It, that we knew what we were doing like the next time we do tech it maybe I can try to set stuff up like that but that also requires me to you know I'd have to sit in front of the computer for like a while just setting up the server which setting up these servers is such a pain in the fucking ass um and then like I'd basically have to cheat my way through the game. Not, not like cheat, cheat, but like make it watchable by going over and making certain structures and, you know, setting up certain things. You know, the eye strain, the joint strain, the abnormal hours, the funds required to set up and burnout management. And the stress of actually completing a game. For real. In addition to doing another job. Yeah. No, it's, um... I don't know. Like... This is definitely better than the alternative. Um, to what I was doing in the past and stuff like that. Because I know... When um, I, uh, when I moved out when I was 18, I turned to drug use, <laughs> and I was doing a lot of, uh, a lot of drugs, a lot. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure I can say it and be fine. Uh, coke, weed, um, meth at one point. I snorted it didn't smoke it um ecstasy was a big one that one i actually almost od'd on same with coke um shrooms which were actually pretty life-changing actually used to smoke a lot uh vape um i don't even remember what else i did the local police um but obviously I've, I've been about three years clean now, so I haven't really done anything. Given, like, that was, yeah, two years of my life that I was, like, legit doing drugs nonstop. Um, to the point that I, I was also dealing and shit like that, and it was just really shitty. Um, but what kind of, like, pulled me out of that was, one, 
Um, after I started getting clean, I actually met my girl. So I was in the right state of mind before I got into a relationship. It's not like she had to like pull me out or nothing like that. No, I'm not stupid enough to get completely addicted to one substance like that. Although I am still technically addicted to Mountain Dew. I quit vaping uh, the day after she told me she was uncomfortable with me vaping because I asked her if she was uncomfortable with me vaping. And so I quit there. Uh, then in there. Um, but, you know, I could be definitely doing that shit. I mean, probably not, but I mean, at the same time, there is a statute of limitations for most laws, and, you know, if it catches up with me, it catches up with me, but usually most of the time I wasn't even making money off of that. <laughs> I feel like I was a pretty cool guy when I was doing it. I'd be like, you know what? Buy two, get one free. But... Uh, I mean, I still drink every now and again and stuff like that, but I feel like the person I was before I did drugs was like a completely different person, you know? Um, did I steal your guys' outfits? Wait. I actually need one of those. I'll take it once I get back. Ring the bell and you will see the path to the Lich's factory. Break the blocks the bell shows you and the dungeon's walls will yield to you. Oh. Where? Um. You alright, guy? You doing alright? Um, but... Yeah, what kind of like, so I don't, I don't know, at a young age, I kind of gave up looking for like a career, to be honest. For me, it was mainly live my life because I have some pre-existing health conditions that you know, aren't the prettiest. So, um, I, you know. Living a fun life is better to me than living a shitty one, obviously. But a shitty short one is worse than a short fun one, right? So why not have fun? Um, but I forgot where I was going with that. Hmm. Oh well. Brain fart. Oh, but yeah. I, I, having a career or a plan of what to do seemed kind of silly to me. Because, I don't know, nothing really catches my interest, to be honest. Um, but this I can at least have fun with. can technically make my own hours if I wanted to, you know. Um... And one of my buddies texted that they needed help and, you know, this and that. Obi-Wan, you're my only hope type of shit. You know. Why not? Spend time with friends. Have fun. You know. I don't have enough. 
what does change our brain chemistry, which leads to different development, which leads to different way of living. I mean, before before the drug use, I didn't really have a career idea of what I wanted to do or nothing like that. And I had the pre-existing fucking issue before. Um, so I thought I could try to cure it. Turns out it doesn't work. Um, one can not really plan their entire life. Only l lucky if you can really... Oh, let me kill this motherfucker. It seemed like the barrels were like hitting him and then blocking off him. Weird. Uh, well, one cannot really plan their entire life. Only the lucky few can really, uh, can make really accurate guesses on how it's going to go. Mix of improvising on the fly and planning out would probably work best. Yeah, but I mean, like, college wasn't for me, because that shit fucking boring. And isn't it like 59% uh, of uh, college uh, graduates end up getting a job that doesn't even require that form of degree? Um, it's like a stupid number, right? I didn't do that. Oh, my armor did that. That's right. Yeah, degree is just a fucking piece of paper. Hell yeah, bitch. just deflected the fucking... Yeah, so... I decided I would just, like, you know, make the most of my life. Given... What the fuck? You googly-eyed looking motherfucker. Oh, wow. Um... Damn, nothing good. Yeah, so I did a bunch of weird odd jobs and stuff like that while also getting like certifications and you know like I don't know. To me that seemed kind of fun, but then, you know, shit gets kind of boring pretty quick to be honest. So yeah. Bartending is pretty fun, you know, make a new drink and stuff like that. Um, my wife is probably the, my girl's probably the, the one. I know my phone is open, so that's, there's two right there. Um, you're probably one of them. And I don't know. Maybe I don't I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. <sighs> oh, you evil rat. That's the evil rat.
grand conspiracies, but it's probably my local police recording this uh, and clipping this probably. No, I actually uh, did a course with my uh, local police. I actually talked with them and got to do ride-alongs and stuff. They invite me over to the shooting range. Uh, well, they did. And they said I'm welcome to come back anytime. Which is pretty fun. Um, but... But yeah. Life. <laughs> Am I right? Like, I think one of the bonuses of doing YouTube and stuff is the fact that you can, you can kind of be your own boss. Like, that's pretty, uh, you know, pretty pog. I will name this one just because of that. What should I name it, Death? What should I name this, this raccoon? Bandit. Oh, that's a good one. It's actually a good one. Alright, we got Bandit and Poggers there. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. See, I feel like there's so many extra items that it's like you can't really do anything with in this mod pack. Uh, that's why I like the tech it was just because, you know, one, you can basically clone your own food with those extra items, but you put those extra items in a in a condenser and get rid of them and make your storage look all pretty and shit like that. Oh, was this the one? Maybe this was the one. No. What is this? going Where are you? do you have uh just get a little bit of light they try and steal my trash little do they know that in reality wait they try and steal my trash Little do they know that it, in reality, is just my trash. Victor by Olaf. Olaf. Klaus. I, I can't even read that. Okay. Three people we swoop. But only for a while, as the people who are the people in vision. I don't, I don't get it. Not in poetry. Let's try, champ. Gotta be quicker than that. Oh, you bitch.
Where's my little buddy? Oh, he's probably under. Oh. Oh. I got another test dummy. Iron to gold. Glass item frame. Okay. I'm just praying that one of these will be an enchanted. The tunnel. Holy shit. I understand there's lore and stuff, but I don't want to read. If it's more than like that, like. Hmm. No thanks, champ. I'll pass. I have a doctorate in bullshit, and even I will not try to figure out what that means. What happens if I go the other ways? I know there are other ways. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I guess I just happened to go the right way. Oh, there is more. <laughs> Shut up. You snarl at me? It's kind of weird, dude. Get him. <laughs> okay, this is yeah, so I think I think we went the right way. I don't think it's I gotta do all that. No. Yeah, we did good. We did good. Real gang shit. Oh, there's another thing right over there. Uh, I'm gonna try going north. Let's, let's just keep going north. What is that? Oh, it's a piece of wood. Keep her going. Melons. Big and meaty melons. Oh, this is new. This is new. Maybe. Oh, no, this is the one that I did. Well, technically, I didn't really get to the middle or anything. It's one of the, it's the spider thing. But it's like way worse. I don't know. Honestly, I might just come back to this with TNT and just like absolutely obliterate this shit. Bitch. There is something to the west. Oh, it's pointless. Those mountains are actually very irritating to find when you have need of them. Excitingly, <laughs> exceedingly prevalent when you don't. For real. The fuck is that supposed to be? Wait, I got excited for a second. Okay, yeah, that's the one we did.
Come on, minority. Hi ho, hi ho. Do 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 do. You bitch. Um. Oh, some torches. Need that. Love that sound. Choo. I love bird sounds, man. Like I really do like the ambiance for this uh this mod pack. Absolutely superb. It's wild to me that this game is so old. Minecraft is so old, and people have found new ways to make this exciting. Okay, we're still here. There's actually like a current. Anything over here? the power of mirrors eh, shall be uh, cleared That's a 9-11 reference. Holy motherfucking shit. Okay. Minority. I need you to take this shit. There was a smudge on the mirror. It covered the word chat. Definitely didn't forget it. Oh, that's that's probably it. I think it was my dyslexia. That's that's probably what it was. Yeah. My bad. Oh, these are very pretty. So we're going to sleep here, because then it'll set the spawn here, right? And then, let's go take care of business. Oh. Bye-bye lookout, am I right? Get wrecked. Oh, I didn't even, didn't even make the jump there, actually.
Oh, these guys had a lot of... It's kind of funny, actually. Had a lot of gold on them. Well, what's underneath here? Oh. Cobwebs. And torches that weren't placed correctly. Alright, well, let's go up. You could have this. Oh, I could. You're right. It'd be kind of the perfect haunted house color. Literally reminds you of Scooby-Doo, doesn't it? Is this the wrong side? Not the wrong side. Oh, shit. A repeater? Oh. A com comparator? What the fuck? Since when did they add this shit in the game? It's kinda dumb. Rope and nail. Literally none of this shit is useful to me. What does this do? Damn, y'all really... the ship okay well let me kind of want to go down here though where are you oh that's right you're dead <laughs> wait oh see that wasn't so hard right Diary? It's kind of fucked up to read another guy's diary, man. Ugh. You can keep it. I don't even want to read it. I guess I have some emeralds. This guy's just chilling in the chow hall. I like how he's still beating the. The captain, either. Oh, I could have gone this way. Where's my mending with red? Hear me out, it's Pirate's Diary, so maybe it has cords to treasure in the book. Oh. Wait, where was it? This way, right? I mean, it's not the captain, though. Right? Epstein's Island, blah, 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 Karen, <laughs> I miss Karen so much, Karen, take me back. Today we found a pirate ship carrying some loot. Haha, <laughs> now it's ours, but you didn't expect an attack from the air, idiots. One of the ladies on the ship was pretty cute, but we killed her before I could strike up a conversation. Unfortunately, now the grabbing claw seems to be stuck fully extended. Hopefully I can fix it before some absolute Chad climbs aboard and manages to single-handedly kill a lot, uh, killed a lot of us. I don't think it does have coordinates. Oh, 
R.I.P. That's pretty funny, though. Silly Karen. What a saucy lad. Do I go this way? I'll go... This way. Sorry, guy. Could you imagine getting knocked off? If they had, like, knack, nah, knock back. That's disgusting. Alright, well the captain's definitely in this part of the ship. R, 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 R. is going on? Who is hitting? Oh, it's the captain. Oh, sorry, your captain's dead. By law, that means... Yeah. You have to surrender. The captain's cock. Shit, dude. Oh, maybe there's a dispenser behind there. I'll check. R. Oh, it's over in this one. I'll take this. That's useful. I'll take this. I'll take that. Minority, you don't... You don't need an iron door. Also, you can take this. Hmm. Okay, let me check the, uh... I can still hear more guys down there. Oh, no dispenser, no. There is probably some shit back here, though. Oh, it's the front of the... Oh. Oh. Oopsie. I mean, I'll take this redstone lamp. Where are the rest of them? Are they all the above? Oh. You fucking piece of shit. I knew you were gonna do some bullshit like this, huh? Fucker. No? Were there not three of them? Okay. Whatever. Nice. 
ain't complaining. Oh. Completely missed that one. Did I get him? I don't think I got him. Hmm. There are guns. Yeah. There's uh, muskets and then there's... Oh, fucking Christ. All fucking mighty. Okay, did I finally get him? Probably not. Nope. The golden heart keeps trying to repair the bow while I'm trying to fire it, and it's preventing me from- Oh my god, please. Get wrecked, noob. What does that do? Oh, it was supposed to be a TNT launcher. Right, there still are guys on this ship. Probably at the tail. Oh! Well, we did what we came for. Ooh, I see a, a thingy over there. I doubt there's anything in here, but it's always nice to check. There's nothing in here. Damn. Just an unusual structure. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go back home. Yeah, there's gold, diamond bullets, there are silver bullets, because there are werewolves and stuff. Well, you have a wonderful rest of your night. I just read what you said, Brian. That's funny. <laughs> you have a good night, Death. Thanks for stopping in, man. home now. <laughs> yeah. I probably should have just gone on here. Take the dry land approach here. Funny how death deletes his messages before getting off. Yeah, it's death's running bit, I think. It's a solid one. Oh, you fucking cunt. trying to get up here and it's okay here we go there we go <laughs> now these guys say these guys have ton uh they always give heart pieces usually 
Maybe I can get up this way. Mayhaps. Damn. They just knocked my ass down here. Fuck. Fucking bitch. Oh my god, dude. Come on, man. Good XP. Good night. Bye bye. How long do I have poison? Okay. Whatever. How you been though, Brian? Have you been streaming more on Kick lately? I assume because you got affiliate. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That's what's up. That's big pogs. Big poggers among us. At a certain point, I forget what I've named. Fifty. 
Oh, hoo, hoo. Could you imagine if it fell down that? Be pretty funny, actually. see how much EXP is actually required for this golden heart thing. 30 of 48. I feel like it's just draining from nothing. Made from the damage. That sucks. I thought mending was supposed to fix you. Forever. Does mending work even when it's in your inventory? Like like this let's see here Looks like no. But I can't even see because of the fucking flames. Maybe I should try fishing. I'll do that later. Um, but right now, it's it's um, in the stream time. I think. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this content leave a like comment subscribe um uh, check out our discord uh, patreon.com slash um um uh think that's about it yeah um uh, yeah 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 um keep your pussies tight and your political views right